the movie actually has many comical scenes. There are so many. And the scene right after this one is also a joke. When Sudamaru says to Kaguya, I feel that you will grow even bigger, then leave us to go to another world. He sounds pretty serious. Then, Lil Bamboo says, why do you say that? Lil Bamboo will always be with you, Sutamaru. It's supposed to be a romantic scene. They are this close. And she says, why do you say that? Lil Bamboo will always be with you, Sutamaru. The way she says it makes it sound like she's proposing. Sutamaru too has this look on his face. Oh, she's proposing to me. Then Kaguya says, I'm always going to be one of your gangs. I mean, gang? You see, it's a joke. Takahata is making a joke. However, people don't seem to get the jokes. Takahata wants the audience to laugh hearing this line. It's like saying, I'll be your friend forever. We're BFFs. But it didn't work. There are other scenes that are supposed to be funny. For example, Kaguya puts up her hair then, well, she's become an adult. She has grown beautifully. It became the subject of a rumor. Then the five nobles compete against each other to visit her earlier than others. They visit her on their ox carts, the elegant carriages pulled by cows that usually walk slowly. But then they race on those ox carts. It's depicted from a horizontal view. Because the ox carts are moving fast, the willows or the people in the front are drawn as blurred silhouettes. If you look closely, the ox carts are running furiously by pushing all the private citizens into the ditch. Aesthetically, this is what Miyazaki animes do. Do you remember a scene from Raputa where Dola family's car makes everyone fall into the river at the Slag Ravine? Same thing is happening here. It's completely comical. It's a spectacular racing, but by ox carts making the ordinary people fall into the water one after another. Too bad people don't find this funny. Instead, the scene is viewed as a portrayal of men's foolishness. It's supposed to be funny though, but somehow Takahata's jokes are hard to get. I mean, really, he's a skilled anime director and a storyteller, and he creates such good images. Seriously, no one can make this. The people who walk through the front and the trees are translucent. Not only that, they move like children's book illustrations. He's done something no one else could do which takes people's breath away. So people miss out on all the comical scenes. Here too. When the five nobles arrive, Kaguya's private teacher, Lady Sagami, appears and says, Now, if you would each speak in order of precedence. In the original story though, they come one by one. Sure, anime needed to save time, but look how they are lined up and shot from the side. It looks just like The Bachelorette, where guys line up and propose to a girl one by one saying, Please, be my girlfriend. But again, because the images are so well drawn, people don't get the joke. So, in the original story, Kaguya receives many proposals, but because she refuses every single one of them, everyone gives up until these extra dirty-minded five men remain. Then Kaguya gives them completely unreasonable demands. Takahata doesn't depict any of that process. He completely ignores the original story and no one laughs at his jokes. Later, Kaguya demands them to bring her many items like the jewel branch of Horai Mountain. This fat guy sitting in the middle, he brings her a robe of fire rat fur. He says, this fur will never burn. Kaguya says, try to burn it in front of me. So the man tries to burn it. It doesn't burn. For a second, the man is relieved, but then suddenly the fur catches fire. 
and the man goes, what? This is the same type of humor that comes out of his feature film, Chia the Brat, with the same comical rhythm, but still, no one laughs at this scene in the movie. That chin of the emperor is also funny, but for some reason, no one finds these funny. This is the image of a scene where the five nobles hear the rumor about the beauty of Princess Kaguya and surround her father, who named her, who says, Just the memory of that glimmering beauty leaves me completely lost for words. Then the five nobles turn into a wheel, then the face of the father appears in the center. At the end, only his face remains. Then the wheel of the ox cart spins. Then the race. You can read this transition as the wheel of their fate has started spinning. So you can read it as a pun. And overlapping the scene with the actual image of a wheel is a dad joke. So I checked the documentary DVD of The Tale of Princess Kaguya. In that documentary, there's an interview of Takahata. But if you look behind him, you see his bookshelf, like right here. Sadly, I found so many books about humor and jokes in his bookshelf. British jokes, everyday jokes, and jokes from the Edo period. I was like, Takahata-san, so you studied comedy, and this is all you can do? I really wanted you to see the bookshelf. Too bad it was on Blu-ray. It was hard to extract the picture. It's a must-see, though. Tons of books about jokes in his bookshelf. It made me a bit sad seeing them. Takahata is simply too square, really.